The sight of men and women preparing ox carts and buffalo carts signifies the traditional methods still cherished in your village. These carts are essential tools for transporting equipment, seeds, and other necessities to the fields. The oxen and buffalo are integral partners in this process, providing the necessary pulling power to move heavy loads across the terrain. The atmosphere in your village during this time is likely filled with anticipation and excitement as everyone pitches in to ensure the land is prepared for planting. There's a sense of camaraderie as neighbors lend a helping hand to one another, reinforcing the strong sense of community that characterizes life in your village. As the ox carts and buffalo carts trundle along the muddy paths, the air is filled with the scent of damp earth and the sound of laughter and chatter. It's a time-honored tradition passed down through generations that binds the villagers together in their shared connection to the land and the cycle of agriculture. Despite the hard work and physical exertion involved, there's a spirit of resilience and determination that pervades your village during the rainy season. It's a time of preparation, yes, but also of hope and optimism for a successful harvest and a prosperous future. In a small village nestled amidst rolling hills and verdant fields, there lived a family that knew the true meaning of hardship. Tucked away in a modest cottage at the edge of the village resided a poor wife and her husband, one of the hardworking farmers in the community. Their lives were simple yet filled with a quiet resilience that only those who've weathered many storms could understand. As the rainy season approached, Casting a blanket of gray clouds over the sky, the farmer knew it was time to prepare for the coming months. With fields too sodden to till and crops too vulnerable to thrive, he turned his attention to another vital task, crafting tools to ensure their survival through the lean times ahead. One misty morning, as the rain tapped gently on the cottage roof, the farmer bid farewell to his wife, a determined gleam in his eye. I must venture into the forest to gather wood, he explained. We need plows, rakes, and carts to tend to our land and secure our livelihood. His wife nodded solemnly, understanding the weight of their situation. With a tender embrace and a whispered promise to return soon, the farmer set off into the dense foliage of the forest, disappearing into the mist-shrouded trees. Left alone in their humble abode, the poor wife wasted no time in attending to her duties. Despite the chill in the air and the dampness seeping through the cracks in their cottage walls, she stoked the fire and set about her tasks with unwavering determination. Days turned into weeks and still, there was no sign of the farmer's return. Yet, the poor wife refused to lose hope. With each passing day, she found solace in the rhythm of her chores and the memories of her husband's steadfast love. In the heart of the forest, the farmer toiled tirelessly, his hands calloused from the labor, his spirit unyielding despite the harsh conditions. With each fallen tree and each carefully hewn plank, he envisioned the tools that would sustain his family through the trials ahead. As the poor man cradled the trembling white mouse in his hands, a sense of astonishment washed over him. Could it be that this tiny creature held the key to his family's salvation? With wide eyes and a heart full of hope, the poor man listened as the mouse spoke in a voice as soft as the whispering wind. Dear sir, the mouse said, its words ringing clear despite its small size, if you spare this tree, I promise to bestow upon you a treasure beyond your wildest dreams. Gold and silver aplenty shall be yours, if only you will show mercy to this sacred grove." The poor man blinked in disbelief, his mind struggling to comprehend the miraculous offer laid before him. Gold and silver, enough to lift his family from the depths of poverty and secure their future for generations to come. It was a temptation too great to resist, yet his conscience tugged at him like an anchor, reminding him of the sacred duty he bore to the earth and all its inhabitants. Gazing into the mouse's eyes, 
the poor man saw not only the promise of wealth, but also a plea for compassion and understanding. In that moment, he knew what he must do. With a solemn nod, the poor man made his decision. I accept your offer, dear mouse, he said, his voice steady despite the tumult of emotions raging within him. I will spare this tree, and in return, I humbly ask for your guidance and friendship. And so, with the mouse perched upon his shoulder, the poor man turned away from the tree, his heart light with newfound hope. Though the path ahead was fraught with uncertainty, he knew that as long as he remained true to his principles and held fast to the bonds of friendship forged in the heart of the forest, he would never be truly alone. Filled with wonder and joy, Thomas gathered the golden treasure in his arms and made his way back to his cottage, his heart brimming with gratitude. When he arrived home, Sarah could scarcely believe her eyes as Thomas poured out the glittering gold onto their modest table. Together, they marveled at their newfound wealth, knowing that it was a gift from the guardian tree and the benevolent white rat who had spared it from harm. With the gold, Thomas and Sarah were able to transform their simple cottage into a comfortable home, and they lived happily ever after, forever grateful for the kindness bestowed upon them by the forest's guardians. Excited by the promise of wealth, the man hurried back to his village, his heart brimming with anticipation. Upon his return, he sought out his wife and eagerly shared the remarkable encounter he had with the white mouse in the forest. As he recounted the tale, the man's wife listened with rapt attention, her eyes widening with each word. She marveled at the thought of the riches promised by the mysterious creature and shared in her husband's excitement. Together, they imagined all the ways their lives could be transformed by the newfound wealth. They dreamed of a comfortable home, fine clothes, and a life free from the worries of poverty. With renewed hope and determination, the couple eagerly awaited the fulfillment of the white mouse's promise. Little did they know, their journey was far from over, and the true test of their resolve was yet to come. Despite his earnest efforts and tireless determination, Henry's quest to find gold within the sanctuary of the White Mouse ultimately ended in disappointment. Day after day, he searched tirelessly beneath the shade of the ancient trees, digging deep into the earth in pursuit of the elusive treasure, but to no avail. Each dawn brought with it a renewed sense of hope, but as the sun set on yet another day without success, Henry's spirits began to flag, his dreams of wealth fading like mist in the morning light. With each passing hour, the forest seemed to grow quieter, the once promising whispers of riches now replaced by the solemn silence of the trees. And yet, amidst the disappointment and the sense of loss, Henry found solace in the knowledge that his journey had not been in vain. For though he may not have found the gold he sought, he had discovered something far more valuable, a deeper understanding of himself and of the world around him. In a moment of clarity, Henry realized the extent of his folly as he beheld the destruction he had wrought upon the sanctuary of the White Mouse. But before he could even begin to contemplate the depths of his mistake, a sense of shock washed over him as he watched the White Mouse reclaim the treasures it had bestowed upon him. With a swift and decisive motion, the White Mouse gathered up the gold, silver, and glass that had once been Henry's, its movements imbued with a solemn determination that left no room for argument. As Henry looked on in dismay, he knew that he had no choice but to accept the consequences of his actions. For in disturbing the sanctity of the White Mouse's home, he had violated the trust that had been placed in him, and now he must bear the burden of his mistake. With a heavy heart, Henry watched as the White Mouse disappeared into the depths of the forest, its treasures held tightly in its grasp. And as he made his way back to the village, 
The weight of his failure hung heavy upon his shoulders, a constant reminder of the price of greed and the importance of humility in the face of nature's wrath. One, greed blinds the eyes of wisdom, but opens the gates to folly. Two, the appetite of greed is insatiable, devouring all in its path. Three, greed is a bottomless pit. The more you feed it, the hungrier it becomes. Four, greed plants thorns in the heart and chokes the garden of contentment. Five, the hand of greed grasps for more, but leaves emptiness in its wake. 